What's up, guys? It's me, T.Y. Some of y'all know me by Ty, Global T.Y., Tyrone. But guess what we're doing today? We're make. Well, we're not doing this today, but I'm showing y'all that the package just came. We're making food. So, you know, have you ever ordered from HelloFresh or places that prepackage food, things like that? Yeah, we're eating from every plate. They had some special, and um, my service provider, you know, do they give back to people. So what I did was I signed up for it, and because I signed up for it, I'm able to get free. Not, I think that's too much information. Just, just look at the plate. All right, y'all, this is my package with food in it so I can meal prepare everything from every plate. So let's check it out. Look, you know, you got to open up the box and this came with three meals and it's two servings each. They give you the ingredients, the recipe, all of that. And um, just to clarify, they put it all inside of one box and you see they got ice packs to keep stuff cool at the bottom. So that's pretty cool. Um, it comes with the ingredients that you need. So you just going to separate that. And also anything else that you may need that like, you know, butter or salt, pepper, they don't provide that. You just got to have that in your uh, kitchen. So, you know, I separate everything by the meats and all the ingredients that came in the big box, um, the potatoes for one of the recipes. And I just, you know, separated. All right. So this is my um, ingredient list. Y'all know we're not using the bacon. So the first step to do is actually put the stuff inside of the oven, the garlic in the oven so that you can get it pasty so that's what i'm gonna do now all right so i'm gonna just throw my garlic in here close that up oven on 425 so i'm just gonna pop this in here let that cook for like 20 minutes so the next instruction is to add some salted water to my pot and bring it to a boil so that's what we're doing Sorry for the mess in the kitchen, guys. Everything is like, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting ready to unpack some things and reorganizing some things. Um, so that's why my kitchen looks like this. You can see all that food out. I need to get rid of that cabbage or take the outer shells off, outer layers. But yeah, so I usually season my water that I boil the pasta in, but I'm probably just gonna follow theirs to the T because they want me to use the boiling water for something else. But I don't know, I might have to season this thing. You know, I'm just gonna add some chicken bouillon in it because i have to so if you got if you got maggie I'm, I'm i'm breaking the rules a little bit throwing in my own little thing you know i think that's what they're using here chicken bouillon it has to be my water is boiling so i'm going to go ahead and drop my pasta in so i'm just going to pour my noodles in there Oop. and i'm going to stir just watch me y'all Y'all, this is a ghetto kitchen right now. It's a hot mess, but this food gonna snap. My pasta is over here cooking. Um, it's cooked pretty fast, so I'm just gonna keep stirring it for a little bit. Give it like six more minutes, probably five, because it's been on for three. And once I do that, um, I'm gonna take it out, and we're gonna go on to the next step. Now, the recipe does call me to reserve some of this water, so you guys will see that. I cut these separate. This was cut right here. This was cut right here for those of y'all who are concerned about this raw meat touching this but this right here the ingredients called for bacon i don't eat pork so what i used was some beef sausage so i'm going to throw this in the oven and let this cook however this is going to get cooked as well if you were worried about these two being contaminated by one another um however we're going to go in this really doesn't need a lot of seasoning it's already smoked meat but i'm gonna just throw a little bit on here i got most of my seasoning backed up because i'm moving guys so yeah y'all in my business congratulations I'm gonna put this in the oven and take out the garlic at the top. Take this garlic out. I know y'all probably like, boy, you need some gloves, but don't do what I do. Do what you do in your kitchen. All right, so with your um, roasted garlic, you're going to push out that paste that comes out the garlic. So you're just gonna push that garlic out, see? Get it pasty. I did clean this off for those of you who may be worried about it. All right, so what I'm doing next, guys, I found a way to put this on my phone up and you can still see me a little bit. My new apartment is probably gonna look better than this, so I can't wait to show you all that. But the recipe calls for a half a cup of pasta, half a cup of water pasta. So I'm gonna just dip this in there. <laughs> this is clean. And, you know, I'm just gonna use the spoon to get the rest because, yeah. 
So I'm just getting my pasta water out. And for those of you who are like mad for like how you have to follow along, let me just explain it like this. So what I did thus far, I roasted my garlic. I cooked some pasta on the stove and I roasted my meat in the oven. And then I'm going to drain my pasta and sit it to the side and work inside of this pot. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil over my pasta. Well, vegetable oil because, well, peanut oil because my olive oil is consecrated and I don't use it to anoint anything, but I'm tempted. But I'm going to keep right there just because my friends told me don't do that. So I'm guessing this will stop the food from sticking, the pasta was from sticking. Uh, don't, don't be afraid of small beginnings. This is small beginnings. I really want a cooking show, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, quick testimony. Everything since I was a kid, I wanted, it's like those those urges are coming back inside of me. You know, the urge to renovate houses, the urge to have a cooking show, like everything I used to watch on TV. So maybe it's important on what your kids watch as a child, because I'm starting to want to do all of those things. I even want to sell furniture and things like that. So, And while that's in there melting, I'm going to check on my beef sausages because these things are in here cooking. So guys, just take a look at my sausages. My sausages right here. I'm gonna flip these things over. Oh, the other, other side is very crispy, y'all. I don't think I gotta flip it over. These things done. So we're gonna have one side crispy and the other side just regular like that. They're not tainted, they're still gonna be good. Just because I know how to cook, I know what I'm doing. So it's not gonna be too bad. Um, it's hard and tell. So I did a taste test of these sausages and they so good. These are so good. Boom, everything we working together. These sausages are so good. Recipe wants me to melt two tablespoons of butter and drop it in this pan. So that's what we're gonna do. If you have these right here, it tells you where two tablespoons at. So this is two tablespoons right here. I'm just gonna cut that. Wax paper. You're gonna throw that inside of your pan. And I'm gonna stir that around. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna cook my garlic for 30 seconds. Butter is cooking too fast, so I'm just stirring my peas right now and turn down the eye a little bit. Because my butter is cooking too fast. I might have to add a little bit more. Alright, so now what I'm doing is I'm gonna season my peas with salt and pepper as the recipe calls for. I'm not doing nothing extra. Not too much salt, it's just enough. Just enough pepper. I'm gonna stir this up. And now that this is stirred up a little bit, the next step is going to be that and one fourth of a cup of that pasta water. I'm gonna stir that up. And I'm gonna add in my mashed garlic. All right, so adding your mashed garlic, and I'm gonna stir that up right there. Let that cook in. Then I'm gonna add in some cream cheese. How much cream cheese they sent me? What is this, aluminum? Yeah, that's aluminum, that's not hair. Uh, that's plastic or something. This is my cream cheese that I'm stirring in. Pretty excited about this recipe. I'm not gonna give it a stir, but everything can bond together. I may add in a little bit more water, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna taste that. See how it tastes. It's very good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. Really didn't need it, but that's the taste I'm going for. So now, the last few steps is me adding in my pasta, which I'm gonna do now. 
I did not do it slow. Only got one hand, y'all. Sorry. I'm gonna stir that in. Tablespoon of butter and some Parmesan cheese. So the Parmesan cheese that came with it. Stir that in. Then I'm gonna add in my sausages. See? So. Oh so yeah, yeah, slide it in. There. I'm gonna stir that up. Now don't forget to add in your butter. Some more butter. And then you're also gonna add in the rest of your pasta water as needed. So if it's too creamy, too thick, you can soften it up um, with some pasta water. All right, y'all, and this is the result. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the plate so you guys can see it. All right, y'all, and I'm ready to eat. And I got the Texas famous Big Red. Yes, so I didn't know about Big Red until I came to Texas, and it's actually pretty good. I have my ice and my styrofoam cup. I usually, uh, oh no, 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 no. I usually drink out of my glass cups, but you know, I'm packing and things like that, so I'm just gonna. So, this is a great meal. It's not good to drink things that's red, but. Ooh, I made an exception. All right, y'all. We out. I don't only cook. I made a book. Please check it out on Amazon for $7.99. And please make sure you check out my faith-based clothing brand, Global Galore. <laughs>